It's madness way. I don't know something is going on. Just like if I met you at the Fall Raven Classic back in uh, in Colorado, <laughs> that it was like, it, you were overpacked. But I took like I don't know like. 40 pounds uh, backpack and, and it was it was mostly equipment I was trying to to capture as much as I could but I couldn't they helped me I have a couple of people that helped me with the backpack but we had so much fun yeah. we camped we I mean the hikes were tough but I mean we had amazing coffee outside amen He's here. We're gonna play a little bit with the with the camera. He has this uh, Instagram. It's called bicycle. Ba bicycle underscore nomad. Uh, you're well known. Why? Um, I'm what they call a bike packer. Okay. So I have traveled by bike all throughout the country. Okay. So my first trip was from Vancouver, Canada, to Tijuana, Mexico, by bicycle. Oh. And um, about 12 years, 13 years ago, I decided I wanted to see the whole country by bike. And I've done that. Every single state except Alaska. Okay. So I've also done Miami to New York City by bike. I I've done New Orleans to Canada twice. <laughs> I, want, I wanted to do that with you. Like, Let's do I, it. I, I want to I wanna take this baby. This camera wow. on a bike pack. <laughs> You're going to overpack again. <laughs> I'm not going to overpack. I'm going to take this one on a bike, bike packing. Yeah, but we, we, can do, we can do something. I would love that. Yeah, that, that, that would be really cool. Uh, but today we're gonna be doing just very simple classic portraits and yeah, let's see what we, we can get. Okay, on my way to see Julian, the Velo Barber here in Ducati. We're at the Ducati, right here in Soho. Here is how everything is slowed down in large format photography. It's like I'm in a calm dance where I have more time to really connect with my subjects or things that I'm taking pictures of. I take my time. I just pay attention to all the little details, the light, the composition, and I see how the light influences the mood and the purpose of these photographs. In large format photography, everything slows down. It just gives me time to connect with my, my subjects. For these uh, portraits that I shot with Eric, I try to to keep it as natural as possible. I didn't use any artificial light. I was just only using the available light coming through the windows. There is something about that light uh, that I just, it, it's timeless for me. For the black and white, I use T-Max 100 and for the color portraits, I use Portra 400. And I have to say, I really, really love the grain on uh, perfect the T-Max 100. This one, I messed up the composition, but I really love these color ones. If you made it to this part of the video, I mean, it's a long video. Um, I really appreciate, and yeah, I'm trying to keep making more videos for you guys and showing you my process. I mean, it's not 
rocket science, but at least you get a chance to, to see what I'm doing. I use the 4x5 camera only for personal projects, for friends or for family or people that inspires me. So Eric is one of those stories that inspire me and, and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just let me know what you think or if you have any feedback uh, in regards to these kind of videos. I think this was uh, one of my favorite shots of Eric, just a profile. I think, uh, I don't know, I, there's something about this portrait that I really really like. One of the videos that I wanted to do for this channel is like talking about how to accomplish dreams. I moved to, to the States like 25 years ago and I dream about living in New York, living living here, doing whatever. And I didn't have the funds to, to make this, this dream reality, but somehow it happened and it's been 25 years and every single dream that I had like so far I have accomplished I have accomplished I, ha I still have many many more dreams but and every time you get new dreams and you upgrade your dreams and you know so I bet for you it's the same no it's the same it's the same um, but for me um, to be honest Andres I just wanted to make my mom and my dad proud they made a lot of sacrifice for me to be where I am today. You know, they moved to a new country later on in their life when they had careers back home, right? So how can I repay them? But, and I always thought about that. I just want to make my dad and my mom proud That's for the sacrifice they made, you know? So, so we'll keep going. Keep going, like and I it said. doesn't stop. So I'm, I'm trying to tell this guy uh, to start his, his YouTube channel because he has so many stories. This guy has been in almost every state of the United States on a bike. Yeah, on a bike. Uh, literally every single state except Alaska. So my first trip was in 2010. I went from Vancouver, Canada to Tijuana, Mexico. I just challenge you to like to, to tell, tell it, story. like to, not to tell, like every every single. I will call it like expedition because that's like an expedition. Yeah. yeah. And at some point, I wanted to go with you on one of those bikepacking trips. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah, I would love that. I would hopefully love that. we're we're recording this here. Hopefully soon. But but yeah, there's the plan, the idea, the dream. You know. Well, that's this is a route that about. I would love to go with you. It goes from Pittsburgh to DC by bicycle. But that's one of the the rails to trails. Oh, nice. That so there's amazing. no cars and wow. you go from from pennsylvania to west virginia and you and then to washington dc wow it's over 325 miles of uh, an old railroad track that was converted into a trail now where there's no cars wow that, that, so that i would love to take you there can you imagine like it is gonna be soon okay all right guys taking the bikes right now Gracias. take care Thank brother you. Too. Uh, so uh, let's talk. Let's yeah. talk. Yeah, we will we, okay. see you. So I go over here. Yeah, for 40 seconds. Second. 40 second and make a right. Make a right. Yeah. Perfect. All right, All right. brother. Take Thank care. You. Okay. See you. Ciao. you guys enjoyed this video and um, just let me know what you think or if you have any feedback uh, in regards to this kind of videos